Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Town of Douglas Conservation Commission uh, will open this hearing Monday, August 5th, 2019 at 7 p.m. First item on the agenda, public hearing continued, 41 Shore Road. Cheryl Prince, come on over. For now, it's available. Okay. So I see we did get uh, correspondence from Division of Fisheries and Wildlife in regards to the tree removal and all that. So we know that they received it and uh, no work occurs below the mean annual high water mark. Mm -hmm. ah. Yep. Uh, so that was the, uh, I didn't see any additional comments from DEP. Okay. Uh, so uh, I think we're just about there. We did have some discussion about plantings mm -hmm. in the yard. And uh, uh, Cheryl has, uh, I don't know if you received that or. I don't think I received that. No, okay, but let I me received the, uh, you can go ahead and go over it. Okay, here's the green cards right. for, we, we resent everything to DEP. Yeah. Right. And NESPA. Um, and really this, uh, you know, you'll see this goes way beyond probably what you've, uh, you're have you used to seeing as far as plantings, but uh, Cheryl's done a good job uh, really just giving you the idea of the kind of work she's going to be doing. Uh, and But the one thing I would like to point out, she has uh, uh, asked that the four foot wide boardwalk right there that goes over one of the muddiest parts of the yard in the springtime She'd like to widen that out a little bit, so five and a half feet, which uh, will allow somebody to stay on the ground level, uh, walk by the stairway. Otherwise, everybody's going to have to walk up to these little set of stairs, mm -hmm. go up the stairs, down the stairs, and continue on to the back. Is that to the property line? Yeah, that's that's right here. It's it's still within the work, well okay. within the work okay. area. Yeah, it's a foot and a half wider, but it's more <laughs> functional. Yeah. Okay, here's uh, copies for everybody. Sorry, that was me. This was supposed to come on the NRIP guy, because he didn't get any news for her either. The basic idea is to uh, really replace what the family had done over the years mm -hmm. uh, in the area, within the work area. Right now you go out there and you can see uh, small lines of stones uh, in a couple of locations. They're not shown on our plan because it really doesn't lend itself to being able to depict our proposed project. Uh, and with such detail, uh, you can see she's able to bring a lot more detail into it on one sheet, eight and a half by 11. Uh, and uh, she plans on planting these areas with fern, uh, some of the other perennials that you had mentioned, uh, spuria, uh, that type of thing, something mm -hmm. pretty natural. Okay. Thank you for this. Appreciate it. That's great. Board, do you have any other questions mm -hmm. uh, on the project? I think you've done the best you could do for that area. And it is going to, in the long run, I mean, with replacing that cesspool, mm -hmm. it's going to be a, oh, yeah. a plus on that. So Jeez. for protection, everything else will grow back where it wants to grow back. Uh, anyone in the audience have any questions on this hearing? Okay. Steve? No, I think you did everything the commission's asked, but yeah. then some. Yeah. You did a great job with yeah. the plan. Oh, thank really, you. Really, really yeah. great. I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Seconded. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and do we want to talk about any conditions? I think we've pretty much covered them on the plan, right, for 
I'd say so. Process yeah. and stockpiling notification to Steve. Okay. Entertain a motion to issue the order of conditions. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Any idea when that uh, will be available? I think it'll be signed tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. And then yeah. um, Maria's got to certify it, but you, I think you have to wait uh, 10 days. Yeah. Wait five or 10 days? Uh, 10. 10 days. Use a 10, 10 days mm -hmm. for appeal period. Mm -hmm. I All believe right. she has it typed up. Yeah. If not, it'll <laughs> be in the 19th. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, 7.15 p.m. is not here yet, so can we take number one on discussion? Sure. Okay, one under discussion, 37 Glen Street update. Come on over to the table. And I'll just um, recuse myself for the record, but I can uh, still just run the meeting. <laughs> Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Murray Bristol. Fine to see you. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, we've been corresponding with uh, Murray uh, back, back and forth. I've been doing my you know, inspections weekly, and you know, conservation-wise, they're doing a. I didn't show any pictures because you know, I forgot to blow them up. But they're doing a great. I can bring them in if you want. They're doing a great job, conservation-wise, um, with the excavation of the material. There's some areas that you know we go back and forth weekly. Some of those have been closed. They've been fixing them when there's some blowouts. It's a big site. Um, yeah, we got have a hard, hard in the middle of the site. There's, yeah. a, there's a, you know, potential for a lot right. of erosion, but we've but given the amount of the, the elevations and the changes, overall conservation-wise, I haven't seen too many any issues with, you know, them affecting the resource areas. They've pretty much been staying within the plan. Um, ancillary to that, there's been some emails and discussions with other boards, Board of Health, sure. uh, Planning Board. Um, I think maybe the town engineer uh, with uh, with I think through the planning board with elevations and high groundwater and stuff. So Correct. you had some comments about changing the erosion controls, which pretty much might not be a big issue. But given that other boards, you've been in front of other boards, sure. and there's been some <coughs> I guess some issues with you're having with other boards and your permit, your special permit. Right. I I'd request you to come in, maybe just update the commission what you want to do and in regards to moving the limited disturbance is that what you're looking to do basically yeah. so i i kind of feel you know to try to be a good neighbor we put the, the erosion controls in you know where, where it is but on the plan it shows that we go a little bit beyond the um you know where the, the grading is so it's, it's more of a grading uh issue than anything um and what we would like to do is move you know, you can see this contour line here comes in on the, the bottom side of, you know, in between the uh, existing erosion controls and where the uh, wetland is. Well, the street, is it so you can meet the street? Is it to the well, Glen Street? Well, it's basically yeah. to, to make a smooth transition to Glen Street. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's more of a minimal grading issue than anything. You know, um, everything's pretty much stabilized here. Um, so we were just hoping to, to you know, really to solidify the site is to grade it right to the road, make it a nice house. So you're going to move the erosion controls to where? <laughs> close to the, close right. to the road. Right. It's pretty flat now. I mean, I, can, I have photos of it, but if, if anyone wants me to go get them right now, I can bring them in real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just hoping to <coughs> move those there, I suppose. Might help. Anybody want to see them? Or? I'm okay. Okay. Anybody else? Well, so you have, I'm just just curious because I don't know. Really, I've not seen this site before. No. Okay. This is a driveway. So the driveway comes in this way. So yep. the site is accessed actually by two points. There's a proposed driveway coming up this way, mm -hmm. and this is the proposed driveway for the house lot. In order to grade up what needs to be, you know, to to make the house lot look nice, mm -hmm. you know, we would we would ask to grade it from the road. To the to the lot to the, up to the house, you know. So we were hoping to move the erosion control from here to here, basically. You know, I mean, it, it's minimal impact. Um, you know, you've got the road prior to the uh, true intermittent stream. So we just like to. How far is that? Uh, it's about 25 feet. 
Would you have to do that to make the connection of the driveway to the road anyway, at some point? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it. it this sits just a little lower than the road right in this corner here. And rather than entrap it, I think we wanted to just bring it, you know, a nice pitch right to the road and get the driveways built. And while they're grading up the slopes, get some room in there and seed it and get some growth. They're kind of control the dust down the road too. What's there now? <laughs> it's just, just a the, hole. Just a hole. Hollow. Hollow. Not yeah. deep either, you know. Is it vegetated? It is currently. Woods yeah. or brush or eh, it's scrub. Scrub, yeah. I don't think it was ever really truly a wetland in there. It's right on this no. is right over no, here. No, the wet's across the street. The wet's across yeah. the street. Yeah, the, the road, yeah. yeah. Right. But like if there are this any tall shade trees, you know. No, there's no those. trees along there at all. No. no. There's nothing here and there's few up in here. We want to eventually too is leave the trees but clean out all the scrub brush in between once the slope gets growing too. So right now is your approval limit of work the fifty foot buffer? Uh, no, I mean I'm not really seeing it on this plan and the approval I mean the, the I guess the true limit would be the, the property line which is here, you know, just allowing for the um, you know, access for the driveway. Well, it's an intermittent stream. It's not a, a what? So it's a resource area. area. Yeah. All right. It still carries the same buffers. <coughs> oh, yeah, I see the 50. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we've got 50 here and 100 here. Thank you. So, you know, I'm just... Is this already permitted? I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 The yeah. They're out there working now. No, I have, to, I have not seen this one before either, so. So are they permitted to do work within the 50? They are. They are. Well, just the driveway? Well, well, whatever the... Uh, just the driveway? Or just the... Uh, whatever the grading plan is. Let's see. I don't see grading in this area here right, right. now. All I see is a driveway grade. Like said, just, right. a driveway. Just, driveway. just a driveway. Just a driveway, driveway here. And right here. So, I mean, I think what I'm hearing you're asking is can you spread loam and replant all the way down yeah. to yeah. the road, Basically. correct? And through this whole area. Which is, you're not permitted to do that right now. Probably not. No. So they're asking for a minor plan change, pretty much to say that. They can either come back, we notify, re advertise, come back and resubmit a new plan. Or if the commission thinks that it's it's minor enough, they can come back with a new plan showing what the work they want to do. And the commission could Well if it reduced the amount of impact then I would yeah, I mean from a technical perspective I would call it a small change, but unfortunately this does not reduce impact. Right, it extends it. Yeah, it sounds like it's a nice to have. I mean, I would prefer I would prefer it be it remain a natural area as opposed to being graded, loamed, grassed, right, and finished, right. Because once it's grass, it's going to get continual maintenance in terms of fertilization and, and that's pesticide a removal huge and all problem that. now. So, I mean, I'm. I'm more in favor of not allowing a further extension of the limit of work. What area are we talking about in that picture? It's yeah. that little area, warming area you see. It's basically right? in the front section yeah. here. The, you can just see the erosion that goes on the back side of that, that knob there. It's That's just that tip. hexagon? So it's just, just it's growing in there now. I guess in the spring when that picture was taken, it was all warm. Right. And it's, like it's it just all disturbed. weeds growing in there now. I don't know if I have an updated photo. This is what the site has looked like. Backs opened up too to remove them out. Mm -hmm. 
front. <coughs> this is the area where they had a little blowout and they come out and they fixed it. Okay. Whenever I so and even now this area is where the little culverts going, where they're uh, now they're stable. You know, because they've had issues, they're stabilizing it. It's, uh, but I don't know if I have any issues with is that a single family home. Or it's is that actually going to be pasture land, I believe. For Rack, uh, it's going to be pasture, and the front's going to be single family with a small barn. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't have any not, not a separate lot back here. I don't have any pictures of the front. It was, but it's it won't not. be now. Okay. The front is mostly, you know, they created the couple of, you know, the the, the rip rap for the trucks to come and go. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, yeah. To access the site. If it's if that area is already disturbed, you showed one picture where it looked right. like this area might be already disturbed. I would just prefer that it not become grass, that? that it be planted in some vegetation or whatever that it's not retains grass. its natural characteristics as opposed to being a. So we might take, but it was going to be two, two lots. Yeah. We were going to have two driveways in there too. And my intention is probably just to have the one driveway and come up like this and come back down to here where the barn will be so that anybody comes so in. So what's the reason to lower it any more than it is right now? Because it looks pretty... Well, that's where, it's, that's where we want it, where it is now, out in the front. And so what's your change? So your change is to not lower it anymore? Or to no, there's nothing more we want to lower out in the front. We no. just wanted to... Mm, so that it's up probably four or five feet of elevation just just as some of it's where the trucks turn right now we just want to bring it down and give it a nice gradual pitch out to the road can you explain what's going on with the other boards maybe so that, uh sure so um i mean i can't speak to uh I can speak to planning board. You know, planning board, we found, uh, you know, we went out and found current water elevation for water table. And uh, we've gone to request to the board uh, to lower the site based on our new and current uh, water table elevations. So what we're doing now is we're in the process of getting a, a letter to the town engineer. And he's got the letter, but he wants a little bit more feedback from our engineer to, to get it passed through. So we're at the level where we want to be, essentially, uh, based hinging upon a, a letter, basically. So that's for the two, the two house lot septics? Correct. Correct. And then the, there's some issues with the, I thought they were grade, I thought that was a grade, grading over to the right, but that, is that a retaining wall? No, this is just a, a two to one slope. Two to one slope? That's, uh, you know, per plan. It used that, to be a retaining wall. It used yeah. to be, I mean. Well, so the one, the, the back, this is just out front. This, oh, this one really hasn't, hasn't yeah. changed. The, oh, the one okay. out back was was the one where it was a segmented uh, retaining wall that was terraced. Right. So what we did was we, we drew everything onto the property and sloped it at a two-to-one two two slope so we don't have to worry about a wall or anything like that. So that's come and gone as well. So we're, we've kind of... Just be careful. If that, that's it within the commission's jurisdiction, you might want to just make sure that they're aware of that too. Okay. Because if it's changing the plan... Okay. There was no Wasn't there that. an issue is some spot being below the ten foot. There is. That's why we we've, we've gone through and uh, gotten Allen Engineering to come through with a letter that verifies where the water table is. Um, we've he's you know the uh, Mark Allen from Allen Engineering has written Bill Cund of the uh, the letter he okay. needs to uh, solidify our position. And where is that? So that is over here. It's confusing because you've got two drawings and they're oriented differently. So, yeah, so like same same plan, but that that is over here is where. Um, no, I'm sorry, no, no, right here, right here. Yeah, here. we gotta just stick to what the request is because I've got to keep so. it moving on the meeting. So. Um, so the yeah the work we were looking to do the changes okay. would be right it's there. already been previously to start though that's what you're showing in the picture yeah correct it's going to get cleaned up no matter what we do because there's some little the bulldozers in there it's ready and it's i think some of that was disturbed when the tree cutter went in initially too yeah 
Right, but if, it's, uh, the if the road is slightly higher than that ground, then yeah. it's acting as a way to keep uh, water off soil the and water from moving on and on down onto the road. So I feel it serves a purpose by being a little bit lower and to raise it, flushes everything to the road and then across the road and into the... When the road, ground's frozen, it'll just come attention. over the road anyways. Yeah, but that's too right. You don't have, huh? you don't have right. fertilizer runoff when it's frozen. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm just guessing, but that's what it sounds like. So, you know, if you typically a minor plan change is it's, is where if it's really minor and, you know, aesthetically, but if it's something where when, it, when coming for the as built commission, you know, properly, you, you know, if you want to modify the plan, you know, grading and stuff, you know, it's an easy procedure just to have a reopen the public hearing. Okay. I um, mean, that way you'd have the commission have a chance to, you know, re notify, have a public hearing, resubmit some plans from Allen Engineering, exactly what you're doing. Okay. And then uh, the commission can really vet that out, and then if, if they're more comfortable, they could approve that. And then um, when you come back for your certificate of compliance and the as bill to match up to what you have. Okay. It sounds like, you know, the. You might want, you know, especially when there's some new members and they don't really, you know, what was approved. That, that's what you get into when you have projects that go on for years that this board might approve it. And then three or four years from now, another board might come and they don't know exactly what you approved. Okay. Um, even though it's in the minutes and stuff. But maybe the commission can kind of give you an indication, you know, just anecdotally if they like to see what you have, maybe give you some advice on what you're looking for. All right. Well. Board? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say no to a, a minor plan change. That we're so what would you like? Give them a hint. Oh, what we'd you rather see? resubmit or yeah. something? Plant well, we don't want the grading to be flush. <coughs> we think we need to retain that grading where it's slightly below the road, and we don't want to see a lawn there. That sums up my feelings. So yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, and then call that out in the plan. Be specific. Okay. Okay. Next on the agenda, seven fifteen, public hearing continues, one thirty one Franklin Street, Michael Hoverman. And I'm going to recuse myself on this one, and Mike, you need to take over, and let's um, discuss what was done previously and what questions we had, and keep it moving. Um, we met at the little last meeting. Uh, Les Stevens representing the applicant, um, the, the applicant for the owner. Um, we met at the last meeting for regarding some changes. So basically, notes um, three through eight were part of our discussion to be added to the plan, as well as um, changing the scale on the plan. So let me just walk you through the three, this refresher. Um, the dog kennel slab, which is shown um, the most northern part of the uh, plan, showing the uh, slab being removed. Um, we would be planting a lawn in that area as, uh, along with uh, three bushes, um, preserving that area, uh, keeping the same grade. And then uh, note six, installing three to five rocks around the uh, existing driveway, um, which is on to the left side of the property. And uh, the proposed driveway um, where the stockpile is is to be paved. The current driveway is paved. So literally we'll be actually reducing the paving footprint and moving it over to where the stockpile area, area is for the new house. Um, this plan has been approved by the Board of Health, uh, Planning Board, and ZBA with the variances and um, additional approvals needed. Did, that, did I think I covered everything from our discussion and notes? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I think, I think I said about three to five rocks. We'll look at the size of the rocks and stuff like that for the existing right here. That's it. Cut and dry. Is the deck not touching the house? The deck is. Uh, the, 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 green, the green line is the house. The green uh, light line. And the red is the existing structure. Green line. Yeah. So, 
This is the green. That light green. That line is green. Okay, yeah, yep. the red is the existing structure. Okay, I remote. remember that now. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you for the clarification. Yeah. So you got these big. You, you blocked off the existing driveway. Mm -hmm. Right. Proposed. With yeah. The big proposed. Boulders. Those. Mm -hmm. Proposed to drop. Yep. And what will? How do you then get to the, the garage? It, it will be where the uh, proposed driveway will be. Right there. The, the, the goal is not to use oh the existing geez. driveway, you know, because that's yep. where the, the septic's going to go, yeah, okay. as well as any uh, traffic close to the wetlands. Mm -hmm. that's it. Uh, and then the other question was about the well line, which is shown in blue, the existing, existing well line, we're using that. So. So I'm good with this, Mike. What do you need? Uh, I'm okay. Yes, I'm fine. Is there anybody in the audience with any questions? I guess not. So we, um, You need a full fledged uh, mm -hmm. order, you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll entertain a motion uh, to issue a order of condition. No, I'll make a motion that we close the public hearing. Okay. Okay. Second it. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Now, can we, uh, yep. now can we have a motion to uh, issue a Order of conditions. So moved. Second. All four. Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Seven. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sure. Three minutes. Can you do something in three well, minutes? Well, 720 you can take. It's just a uh, Oh, discussion. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Um, 225 U Street. Everett Andrews. Hello. I'm Kristen from Andrews Engineering. Is going to present that. Okay. Hi, my name is Kristen Labrie. I'm from uh, Andrews Survey representing our client. Um, this is uh, for a m minor modification to a plan that's already been approved. Um, what we've done is move uh, the house has changed and it has moved farther away from the buffer. So the existing plan. Um, the approved plan was uh, 56 feet away from the wetland. The new one is 68.9 feet away from the wetland. The amount of disturbance um, within the buffer is about the same. Uh, the, ex the approved plan um, was hand drawn, so it's hard to compare exactly, but it's either equal to or less than the amount of disturbance. Shown is the uh, existing erosion control that's already been inspected by Jeff Sisk. It's outside of the 50 foot buffer, um, and the septic is in the same location. The pink line is what? Or the purple that's line? A that's a 25 foot buffer. 25. The orange is the 50, that's 100, and this dark dash black line is the existing erosion control that's already been installed and inspected, which is outside of the 50. Is this one where we rotated the location of the house? Yes. Thank you. And then the driveway was reduced too, right? Yes, I have the existing. I have the okay. approved plan if you'd yeah. like to see it. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Looking at my notes here in the minutes. We wanted to know the exact percentage by which the impact area had been reduced. That's not, it's, you can't really compare apples to apples with it. Um, mm -hmm. We're estimating it's it's about the same or, or less based on this. And you're keep, keeping the same silt fence line, correct? Yes, it's so already installed, so it's already been inspected. That's really the work area. It yeah, is. and the house has actually moved farther away from the wetland. So. The house moved in, the driveway moved in and got smaller, but the work area is essentially the same. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. And the driveway we thought was going to be a little bit smaller. A little bit shorter, right, for the new one. Well, I think there's less of it in the 100 foot buffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's only a little clip on the side there now. 
Entertain a motion to consider this as a minor modification. <coughs> so so second. All's in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks for doing up that so plan. Can we have an extra plan for our file? Two yes, we will send two one plans? tomorrow. Yeah, two plans for the file. Thanks. Yep. Colored like that would be great. Want them colored? What? You want them colored? Sure. Okay. Well, that's in our bylaws, isn't it? Well, not the, the highlight. The hi not the oh, you not mean the green you yeah, want yeah. to? You want like the green? <laughs> the, the brown? The we, brown. Have a, the gray. we have a colored sc scanner now, so it's nice that I can scan it and make a PDF. Ooh. I mean, it's hand colored. We'll move so. it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. More fun with my No, I'm just at a thing. Okay. Um, oh, that's not by the. I'm oh, sorry. So you're plotted into that? No. No, oh, I can't then, then just give me the black. <laughs> just give me the black. <laughs> you can color it on the weekend. <laughs> color. I thought you plotted it. Okay. Moving on to so some. To yes. So get that side, um, <coughs> take a couple of days to turn that around. Or? You're good to go. I'm good to go. Me. You need so to get we'll Steve those problem. plans. Yeah. Right. I mean, Two copies. So I get the, the plans. One. You're good to go. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Right. Um, 7.30 p.m. public hearing, 67 Walnut Street, Ray Pear, Hurry. I'm going to read the ad. Ad. Yeah. I'll take the green cards. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Town of Douglas Conservation Commission, 29 Depot Street, Douglas Mass, 01516. Legal notice for public hearing. The Town of Douglas Conservation Commission We'll hold a public hearing for Ray Pierre on August 5th, 2019 at 7.30 p.m. in the Municipal Center at 29 Depot Street for work to be done pursuant to the Town of Douglas Wetland Bylaw and the Wetland Protection Act, Mass General Law 131, Section 40. The proposed work is to be done at 67 Walnut Street and involves the construction of a single family dwelling with septic system and well associated clearing and earthwork within the 100 foot buffer zone. Welcome, name and address. Uh, my name is Crystal Mabry. I'm here for Andrew's survey representing our client. So, uh, quick and dirty, here's the plan. Um, we have the wetland, the pink line is the 25 foot buffer, orange is 50, the second or orange is 100, the single family home is the brown, with the proposed driveway in gray, um, and the proposed septic is up here outside of the 50 foot buffer. Do you have any other plans for the board to look at, to put on the table? Yes, we. I have ones. Um, Little small ones, maybe. No, I have. I have two. I have two sets of okay. the, these um, for if it were to. Yeah, and then Steve's got a review also, but they can't. Yeah, can't I was really see. Uh, there's one set. I know Travis brought a couple. Did he send me? He anything? told me Travis told me BB two, but I think he gave me one. might or eight and a half by eleven. He might have Oh, are they in here? Okay. And did you oh, see Steve's you? list, checklist from 727? Yes, and yeah, they, they those modifications have been changed. The stockpile was added. Um, uh, right Travis, I was with her associate, Travis Brown, has been mm -hmm. corresponding with the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks regarding it. Okay. okay. Yes, all the, all the things that were on the checklist got, got taken care, care of. Okay, good. So the, the site, I have a, is wetland flag three there? Uh, yes, it is. So uh, the, the measurement yep. 58.5 right connects to it. And so there's a little clover in here. So my video, I'll show you the video I take from wetland flag three, and it kind of just pans around right where the, the site is. So you can... Everything pretty much gently slopes from right across the the lot to where I'm standing, which is wetland flag. My car is right where the culvert is on the street. As it goes off to the right, then it really drops off right where the wetlands is. So you can see there's the That's distinct break and slope yeah. right where the wetlands is. And there's actually a uh, cart path is that where this culvert is, mm -hmm. and then where there's actually a cart path that comes through here. So it kind of blocks this water in, and it just travels out towards, let's go out towards 
Muskrat Pond, I think, is out here. Here's a, here's a lot here. So, so, so there's actually a yeah, Muskrat Pond. There's a, actually a pond out here where the, uh, the Rod and Gun Club is. Is out here the Beagle Club? Mm -hmm. and it comes out that way. So the site itself is pretty distinct. The way it gently slopes off, and then you see a nice breaking slope right where the culvert, this culvert must come, and then it must feed back into this pond area over here. So, yeah. Is this a newly established pot? Did it, uh, 10 years? I, th I think it was all part of all this lot, all these lots here, from the Beagle Club entrance down to, is it a quarry? Is it prior? It was owned by, I think, a lady called Margaret Barry. Ben again. Okay. Um. Has it been approved by the Board of Health? Yes. Okay. Um, you're really close to the 25 with the lawn. So speaking to the point that everybody had on the minor modification request, um, they did push the house all the way to the side setback on the other side, but you are right at the 25 with lawn. Um, so we typically do some sort of indicators, um, plantings, boulders, if you want to go that close, because um, it's always subject to creeping. So just to point that out, that it's, it's pretty close. Steve, what are you thinking? It's, it's gently sloping to the wetland I there? would say you're right about it. You know, I, I didn't pick up on that. Maybe, um, Not even creep, like I would even recommend moving it in. I don't know that we need that much lawn on the side there. Well, given that their septic is in their backyard, and yep. the tank is there, some nice side yard room for outdoor activities. Oh, we, we're happy to add markers or. I mean, they, the they, they can have the lawn. It'd be easier to have lawn on the left side, bring it in a little, have lawn on the left side where it's outside the jurisdiction. More in yeah, the front. Yeah, we'll and split the difference. What's happening on the other side of the park, on the left side? That's also yeah, lawn. Yeah, I mean, that's brought pretty much as all lawn. Yeah, we can bring it down here a little bit closer, but you have the driveway. And, and we're eight, we really can only save eight feet, eight and a half feet on that side because you're in the 50 at that point. So eight feet. I mean, th to have some sort of flexibility on it, I don't know why we're, we would take it all the way to the pretty much to like the 28, 28 foot mark there on that side. I mean, we're at limit of lawn in the back at 50. How close is the septic to the um, wetland? Uh, 74.2 feet. And the fill extends to how close to the wetland on the off of the septic system. That's the big one. That's our limit of oh. the limit. Well, so the limit of work is about it's 50 feet, so the fill is is a little probably eight ten feet short of that. That's so a 60 or 60 feet. Is that location for the septic system determined by um, soil testing? Yes, and, it's, and that's, already been a, that's already been approved. And it couldn't be closer to the house than that? No, I think due to ground, I wasn't involved with the septic design, but I think it was due to groundwater. Mm -hmm. um, typically where the park tests are, the septic has to touch the park tests, mm -hmm. don't they? They yeah. do. If Three of them have to fall within the fall within And then you've got a hundred foot well radius on the front left corner which there. Which is also affecting it, the location of it. Oh, yep. That would be my only comment. Is the the possibility to extend the lawn area 
once they're already that extended. So, you know, like if... It's typically a split layer of fence or if there's no boulders in that area, I don't think there's a lot of boulders maybe in that area, but usually a split rail or some type of barrier, typically you can request a lot of the wet, if you're that close to the... Yeah, we'll be happy to add something to the 25 foot buffer to prevent creeping. Or, or add it to your, to your limit. Hmm. Yeah, the edge of the, edge of clearance, the limit of work yeah. at the 25, yeah. Uh, Tracy, what were you thinking? Something from like here to here? Sorry, you can't. <laughs> Something like from here to here? This is where their close point is. Mm -hmm. would, or would you want to see it go back here? Mm -mm. No. Something from like this corner to this corner. Yeah, I would say so. Did you want to make a suggestion or do you want to check with your. I mean, we get we can uh, if if we would have to check with the client if you'd want it moved in, but as for adding something as a, such as a marker to delineate where our edges. Well Steve said boulder, boulders, boulder plantings, yep. split rail fence, some people do. Um, I'd be okay with that. I would say you should give yourself a little space. What, what do you have for the measurement right now? From the house is, is 58. From the 25 foot wetland to your limit of disturbance. The closest point is probably 28 feet. Yeah, be my best guess. I mean, even if we hold 30 or something, at least there's a little bit of cushion to. That's why I said I'd like to see this move in a little bit and then also have barrier. Yeah. So no, I agree with that. Do you think 30 is reasonable? Yeah. 30 feet from the wetland or 30 feet from mm -hmm. the house? 30 feet from the wetland. Mm -hmm. which, put, which They yeah. would still have. Which puts you at 18 yeah. from the house? 28. Oh, thank you. It's okay. Um, Uh, what scale is that? 20, 20 scale. scale. <coughs> 130 feet from the house now. So I think you're talking about bringing it in so it's only 20 feet or even 15 feet from the house. If we hold the 30 off the wetland, it would be 28 and a half from the house. You yeah, were just wondering if we that's, could get maybe 35. And a, it's two and a half feet difference from what it's yeah. already shown at. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm saying maybe we could get 35 from the wetlands. And we're respecting the 25 foot buffer. Yeah, um, but I just we don't know if the future respects the 25 foot well, buffer. Well, what we're saying is we could put markers on the 25 foot buffer to delineate where it doesn't creep over that. I know what you're saying. It doesn't creep over that. I'm just trying to reduce the amount of lawn. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because it's close to that resource area. We're well into the buffer at the back, <laughs> well into the buffer on the sides. I don't think we, I don't think we're out of line in asking them to increase the buffer along that edge. So you were recommending 30 off the wetland. We were, you were going as far as saying maybe 40 off the wetland? You'd be fine with 35 to 40. Okay, so I think we can all settle at 35 off the wetlands is where we want our barrier placed. That we have to check with the client. Okay. For their, they're okay with that. Okay. And if they want it, wanted to move it over eight and a half feet too, they could pick up that lawn on the other side, the driveway side. That's also an option. So that's outside our jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. So I think the square footage that maybe they're not having as lawn could be definitely made up. 
on the other, other side. side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we have the 50, and I think we're we're all saying they can go up to the 50 with the with the house. Is well, that 50 make the and a half more than it is? Okay, they're looking for kind of a larger lawn area on one side. Right, but over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they could get more lawn by moving the house forward and to the left a little bit. Yes. As I that too, that would be an option as well. Yes. All right. I mean, I'm most You I'm always love flipping the driveway. Flip you do it all the time. You flip the drive and then you have more in the resource. I know. Correct. All the time. <laughs> it, it does work 50% of the time. It's my goal to say. 500. <laughs> it's your go-to saying. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a public hearing. Anyone in the audience have any questions or comments in regards to this hearing? And negative. Okay, so, board, do we have any other comments about the plan? Board health approval? Yes. yes. Oh. So we got the stockpiling, lawn, limit of lawn, yeah. sorry pit, pave width was 14. House and desk dimensions. Yeah. I'm assuming I it was that. deck. Deck? Did I, I say desk? <laughs> Unless you put a big desk out there. Uh, word Sorry. check isn't going to spell check. Spell check. <laughs> well, I'm still check a correctly I, spelled word. I don't wear my glasses all the time. Oh, geez. That's good to tell us. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's kind of the feedback and see if you can tweak it just a little bit to, um, you know, improve and protect a little bit more. And I think. Will be good. 715 on this 19. Entertain a motion to continue the public hearing to um, 715 on August 19. August 19. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Let me take those back. This one came out of my file. Nope, this is you. Oh, one of them came out of nope. the file? Both of them I gave you. <laughs> I grabbed this one. Oh, August August don't we get to keep one so we can compare it to a new one? Yeah, we have one some. Oh, yeah. These are the ones I brought in case it got approved yeah, that you decided. Oh. Okay. August 19th. 19th at 7.15. Yes. Yeah, seven Thank seven. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. 7.40 p.m. RDA public meeting 13 Laura Hill Road, <coughs> James Hampson. Come on over. How are you? Mm -hmm. I don't have the newspaper out. What's that? Newspaper? No, I did not bring that with me. Okay. We'll I see if we're <laughs> Okay, well, that's good. Did you submit it? What's that? Yes. This is good. Okay. Oh. Maria is on the ball. Thank you, Maria. Okay. The Tana Douglas Conservation Commission will hold a public meeting for James Hampson on August 5th, 2019 at 7.10 p.m. in the Municipal Center, 29 Depot Street, for work to be done pursuant to the Town of Douglas Wetland Bylaw and the Wetland Protection Act, Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40. The proposed request for determination of applicability work location is 13 Laurel Hill Road, and the applicant is requesting permission to build a 20 by 16 foot deck, uh, shed. And a deck. No, just, <laughs> just a shed. That was the last guy. Shed. Okay. <laughs> so. <coughs> so. How many by what? 16. 16. It's a big shed. Look at the one. No. <laughs> All right. So some of and I talked to him about this. A couple issues we had. Um, this is the plan from well one. He, it was the they got a uh, notice of intent order conditions to, to construct the, the house mm -hmm. and what's existing out there and that is still active we're not active but the, there was never a certificate of compliance and so I gave him a copy of the plan and so originally I think he, he filed and he was a little off to show where he wanted the house and the shed he, he, he didn't really skill it properly so I went out there and it, you see my photos, it looks like there's a little area outside that, right behind his driveway. Um, that's a little um, mounded area um, that he wants to put the, the shed and stuff. On top of the well? It's behind the well. 
Okay. So the, the, the well is at the end of my driveway. It's about 25 feet back from that well. Okay. Here's a picture. The yellow here. blob on that drawing is uh, the proposed location of the shed. Shed. So there's a video. Yeah. The shed's yes, going the right, right behind this boat here. Mm -hmm. It's all the stuff that needs a shed. The wetlands is on the down toe slope where this, I'm speculating where this fill area is. Are you going to do stone and? I'm going to do stone on that, yes. So will you be, you'll be using a little machine? Nope, I'll be doing it by hand. Okay, and then you'll do the, you'll dig it all out, the 16 by 20? It's not going to be dug out, it's going to be sitting on top of um, runners. Okay. So it's going to be built above ground, so no excavating. Oh. The only thing I'm going to be oh. doing is um, putting some stone basically on top of that right there to create a smoother surface. Okay, so no excavation. Correct. I mean, that's... Right. So I don't think he realized there was an order of conditions. So I, I recommend... You just brought that up to me the last time I yeah, met so with I you. so I recommend that you file a, at least some point Correct. a request for a certificate of compliance because it's a lien on your property. Correct, yep. And then uh, maybe check with the Board of Health. They probably might have an as bill. Okay. That, that shows uh, where the work was. Mm -hmm. Where the people that built it. Who uh, built it, yeah. <laughs> you know who they are? Yeah. <laughs> I know where to find it. So um, for the new members, um, we have two types of filings when you come in front of the Conservation Commission. A notice of intent, which would be for a significant amount of work that's within the resource area, um, where it's engineered plans and, and, and buffer zone work or crot or even filling or crossing a wetlands. And it, it's a little bit more detailed and the Commission has a little bit more uh, ability to put conditions on there to protect the resource areas. This the, then the second type of filing is a minor filing. It's called a request for the determination of applicability, or RDA. And that's to say, listen, I'm in your jurisdiction. I know we're in your jurisdiction, but I don't think the work I'm doing is going to affect the resource areas, like putting a shed or a pool or a minor a deck. Um, can I go ahead and do the work? And the commission can say your work is going to um, impact it or not impact it. And so... That's what he's filed here, request for determination of applicability. A negative determination would be like going to doctors, it's a good thing you're negatively going to impact the resource areas and then it pretty much gives him a permit to do the work whenever he wants. If you give him a positive determination, you say, I want more, I need more information to make a determination. Come back, file a notice of intent, which is a lot more expensive. You need an engineer, engineered plans. Um, so let's just come up the choice that's in front of you now. You can certainly put conditions on the request for determination. It is a permit. It is a permit. As we have previously learned. Is it can be conditioned, it is a permit. An RDA, it's just not as significant as, you know, building a house with a foundation. Um, and uh, Wetlands Protection Act does allow activities within buffers, lawn to sheds, lawn to pools, pools to lawn. Um, things like that within the buffer. So we can condition no excavation, no machinery, no tree um, removal, no tree removal uh, just so that everybody's clear on what's permitted. You know, you're going to bring that in and then whatever a little bit. Sounds like it's low impact. Yeah. Typically in RDA, you do it on something like this. Um, uh, you know, so, you know, it's minor, minor information, my plan. But I knew the property, so I knew he had an engineer. He didn't wasn't realize this. There was an engineer plan out there, which is to his benefit, because then kind of shows where it more. It's not an as built, but it's everything's. I think is relatively close to where it was proposed. Okay, so we're gonna wait for a filing, or what's up to you? So oh, okay. He, he filed an RDA, okay. so. He did file something. Okay. Thank it you. was there's an existing order that he needs to file for a request for certificate of compliance to discharge it. It's already, like a long time ago, it's already expired. 
So he's not really doing any activity under that original order. But I think we could put some conditions on the project. Yeah. This sounds like a good thing. Where is the well in relation to where the shed is? It's approximately 25 feet directly in I front. I see that. The well is right at the end of my driveway. Yeah. And then about 25 feet behind that's where I'm going to um, be putting the shed. Yeah, I would. If you actually look right there, right to the left side of my boat is basically where the well cover is. Okay, what's that stake back there? That is basically where the um, the outside corner of the shed's going to be. Which what's outside corner? Back front. The right front. Right front. Okay. And 16 feet back. Yes. Mm -hmm. From that stake. I mean, yeah, it's that's what I'm. I'm still. I'm confused. Where is the shed on that area? Like yeah. where correct. the road and the it lights is are? Nope. It's going to be basically uh -huh. right back there, right where that little fire, fire pit is. is. Yeah. Okay, but is it? On it's side? not off of that kind of a fill pad. It looks like. No, it's, it's not off of that fill pad. It is sitting on top of that. So it's no additional correct disturbance. Correct. And where is that in relation to this? Um, it's basically. My driveway, so it's going to be basically just back here. There's my well, so it's basically just back here. So straight back from Correct. the driveway. Correct, exactly. Straight back from the driveway. And what are you going to be hand doing for material? I'm just spreading some um, gravel down. At the entrance there? I'm going to probably, the obviously, weed whack, clean that all up, and um, put some um, landscape fabric down and spread some stone across it. It's existing lawn area. Mm -hmm. um, we can have a couple conditions, like Art said. Um, so if we do it, it would be no excavation. No machinery. Hand laid stone, <coughs> crushed stone. No machinery. Yeah. No excavation. No machinery. No additional clearing. No additional clearing, tree removal, slash tree removal. Um, is that it? I don't think so. Did you get a I'll entertain a motion. So moved. For a negative determination <laughs> of applicability with conditions. With conditions, so moved. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you could um, put that paperwork together. With that request for the, the, the existing house, yeah. yes, yeah. I will. Thank you. It's just the 9A form, okay? Thank you, guys. Thanks. I have that plan. This plan, thank you. Thank you. Okay, 7.50. We're running a little behind schedule. 45 Lindbergh and Ronald and Gail LaBelle. Another RDA. Hi. Hello. 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 And I did get a property surveyed and my carpenter made plans. Awesome. Look at you. Okay, let me just read the notice and we'll open it up. Um, the Town of Douglas Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing for Ron and Gail LaBelle on August 5th, 2019 at 7.50 p.m. in the Municipal Center, 29 Depot Street, for work to be done pursuant to the Town of Douglas Wetland Bylaw and the Wetland Protection Act, Master and Law, Chapter 131, Section 40. The proposed request for determination of applicability work location is 45 Lindbergh Ave, and the applicant is requesting permission to remove maple tree and build an enclosed porch slash room 13 foot 6 by 12 foot by 30 oh 38 feet from Laurel Lake yes okay it was all smushed together I don't know what size it was okay uh, name and address Yale and Ron Lavelle okay. 45 Glenburg Ave okay so you brought some plans you're Enclosing something that's existing? No, there's nothing there. It's going to be like an enclosed porch room. And what are you doing for um, <coughs> any machinery? You hand no, digging he the said footings? We're hand digging the footing. he said How many footings? Three or four. Okay. So this is the um, end. They're taking this one tree down. 
This one here? Yeah. Yes. On, on the, the house? On the corner. Okay. See. Oh, oh, I see. The ribbon one. The one with the ribbon in it. Okay. And it's got a big split in it, so it's kind of... It's facing I the neighbor's love it. house. Right? I love it, but my next one is old. Mm -hmm. She lives in Maine, but she, it's been worrying her for years. Okay. So I'm standing on her dock. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so this tree's coming down, and they're coming out 12 feet. Um, with the uh, sauna tubes in. And then the deck is coming right where the center of the window is. Mm -hmm. See the two in between the the double windows? It's coming between those double windows. Mm -hmm. Here's the picture. Yeah, I can see all can see where it goes on the house. Yeah. Do we have a sliding door? Yes. Oh, I see. No, Rose, they didn't put anything in the plan as well. What, what, what are we supposed to put? Erosion controls on the on the plan. What's that? Like, we talk talking about the hay bales that go straw around. Waddle. The straw waddles. Oh, we could do that. Okay. It oh, would be more so that nobody put anything on the other side of them. It is kind of, you'll be building it for a little bit versus that shed that was previously will be coming as one piece. Um, so, so what system. exactly is it for? Would that would be yes. handy for us because I need to use them for the chicken coop later. <laughs> but <laughs> it's um, just a sock, kind of like a sock tube. Oh, okay. A straw waddle line. And what is it for? I've seen that Protect. a lot. It protects you from erosion. Erosion of the soil. It'll stop uh, the soil from uh, running when into he's the digging. Water. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I know it's just a, a minor time, but oh yes, it does. You're right. Yeah. How close is uh, is the construction from the water? Thirty-eight feet is the end of it. Like I hope the house is like fifty-two feet. From yeah. Do you have something? Can I see that for a second? Thirty-two point seven. At an angle, because the it comes <laughs> it still up. Still like has that. to be the closest spot. Yeah. Okay. So thirty-two. And it's a tight spot. That's my cutting table, I sew. Oh, nice. <laughs> 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 you can just line up all those tables and you can have that as your erosion <laughs> <room> chicken <laughs> <control. laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. After seeing that, I really, uh, or do you think erosion control would serve a purpose? I would recommend it, actually. Okay. Yeah. Since we're at 32. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, the lot is really only 40 feet wide, so if you did 40 foot of... Then you'd be all set? Yeah, or 50 foot. I think yeah, whenever it does rain feet. heavy, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> you do get silt in the, you know, because okay. I've always got a pool skimmer. And <laughs> <I don't laughs> <do that. laughs> yeah. So it doesn't okay. get so mucky. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um. So, yeah, I mean, they file an RDA, I mean... I guess the, the minimal to start, well, the structure itself is within 50. I mean, it's a tight lot, but there's no foundation. So it's the, the, really the disturbance in is the silent tubes, mm -hmm. which um, you might have to have an auger or something. Some type yeah, of yeah. This is what he give, said. Give he said, gonna well, my sons are going to help dig. Well, give him the He's used, he said we yeah. use a steel <coughs> bar and a sawzall, and then if he hits rock, he drills a hole in the rock. The pennant. Mm -hmm. Steve? No, <laughs> and there's like anything? three or four that we have to do. And it, the, the worst part is the, the maple roots. That's. Uh, In I fact, I've been. <laughs> I'm I, not looking I've for I've got hurt on the tree <laughs> for the first. In 24 years, I've tripped, mm -hmm. fallen, stubbed my toe on those mm -hmm. roots and never gotten hurt. And a month ago, we decided to take the tree down, mm -hmm. twisted my ankle, and I'm still having problems. Bad, yeah. And so my people at work said the yeah. tree is revenge. Oh, revenge. Geez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, so Boyd, let's take one thing at a time. Let's talk about the tree. Okay. <coughs> so I think um, 
tree is really close mm -hmm. to the house. So um, no stumping. Yeah, we want the stump. Okay, you want the stump, okay. We might yeah. have it. Okay. We might Where? leave enough to, I don't okay. know. It depends so like on me. I don't know if maples are good yeah. wood yeah. to yeah. kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. see that. Yeah. Okay, so um, board, any comments on that one? That piece of this? Okay, and then the three sauna tubes for disturbance? Let's say there's four. There's there are four? four. Okay, so let's say four. Any comments on that? Concerns? It's going to be tough to dig by hand. <laughs> Yes. Oh, but Not we don't know how. Um, <laughs> I, I, I worked at UPS. He's, he's I, was, I retired from what was really yeah. going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so if anything changes yeah. um, that you're going to need to use a machine or something, I don't think we can't get a machine in there. Oh, okay. This, it's so tough. Well, somebody said we could get a bobcat in there yeah. if we came yeah. down yeah. the side, but no. It looks like you have about eight feet on one side. You dropped it by helicopter. So. We could do with conditions for those not more than four sauna tubes. Um, install erosion control before Steve, and then Steve can, um, um, can uh, yeah, inspect it. Okay. Um, so nothing's gonna go over that. So let's just put it at. Um, <coughs> what do you think, board? The where you want the erosion control? Yeah, the twenty-five. Sure. So um, you could scale this off pretty good. You have some stuff there that you could probably um, move. use also. Yeah, well, yeah. move or use yeah. so that the guys don't put yeah. the stuff on the other side of the, the straw water. Oh, somebody comes and brings it. <laughs> well, I don't know if, <laughs> if you Ron go buy it. it. Yeah, yeah, don't you, you go buy it. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Where do you buy Just it? Just being fresh. Um, there's a couple of places. Yeah. Okay. Um, I buy it at a Cheris in Auburn, but there's a, I think there's some local places. If you just Google it, I think you'll only need like two pieces. Okay. So. okay. I think they're twenty or twenty-five foot rolls. Yeah. So I would say um, at least feet forty feet. Yep. Because you've got forty, but um, at least forty feet of straw waddles. Anything What's else? the board's position on building and putting a structure closer to the For the permanent foundation? No, just in mm. general, building Dex. closer to 50 feet the water within 50 feet. Pretty much the water body, body, yeah. wetland edge, great pond. There's no concern about getting a building that close? Um, I think that they can do it in a protective way. With three sauna tubes, I mean, it's not a foundation, a full foundation. We have 12 and what's feet the above the of high water mark, so. Yeah. Typically, it's the, well, he's marked right that the bylaw is, you know, no structures within 50 feet unless they, they can, you know, they'd have to overcome the, the presumption that they're not going to impact the resource area. Mm hmm. And what this previously disturbed, and uh, one dead tree getting cut down, I don't think. What would be the impact? There's no shade that's being created. Um, the ground cover is going to remain except for those three holes. Um, yeah, the shoreline still the has shade plenty of shade. disappeared right when the tree. Um, it's not even close to the. That tree is right here. Yeah, that tree, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's huge trees the, on the, the shore, bank. and some even. There's, there's like a four masted. Um, Hemlock tree. And then there's birches hanging right over the water. All they're bending. Yeah, see them? Yeah. Yeah, they, I and mean, they I bend. No yes. issue with taking down the tree. It's so close to the house, it's a danger. It's a safety issue. So I don't yeah. know. No problem with that. Yeah. I just question whether we should be allowing the building any closer to the pond than what we already have. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's the we're, that's why we're the board, because we can overcome presumptions. Um, Wetlands Protection Act does allow it with an existing lawn area. So we, uh, it would be our local, but it would be applied under our local bylaw. Well, you know, the RDA, like we said before, so the RDA is for if, if you think it's going to, the project's going to impact the resource area or not. So if it's, you think that the tree's not going to, but if you want more information given that 
with, with the shed and notice of intent would allow you to ask for more information if you haven't filed an NOI. Well, whether the work is subject to jurisdiction of our local bylaw. So that would be the, one of the determinations for the RDA. It wasn't checked, but that's mm -hmm. pretty much what you're saying was falling under that, the local. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what our precedence is in the past, is whether we've allowed mm -hmm. building new structures within 50 mm -hmm. feet or not. Typically, no. We set precedence? Mm -hmm. No, <coughs> but typically the commission has tried to keep all the structures outside, you know, the mm -hmm. control buffer zone. Mm -hmm. Well, my impression was uh, 25 is a no-no. That's an absolutely forbidden. But w within the 50, near the 50, was something that was kind of debatable. Uh, based on what, what I've seen like come through Tracy the board. Said, giving the existing that's cleared, it's a, it's a lot. It's, a, it's an old camp. It's been around for a while. It's not a new lot. Um, and then the yeah, the, the, those are all taken, taken into consideration. But they said we didn't even have to get it. So usually, uh, <laughs> that's usually more more determined with a well. It's it's an it's an addition. So sometimes you can have them file a minor permit, which would be a notice of intent instead of a full notice of intent. You mean limited? What? Limited. Uh, no, or, or a minor, you know, if you want more information where you have more uh, say that it, it gets recorded to Registry of Deeds and, and it's more, back here you know, more follow-up, yeah, then you can have them file a, a notice of intent. Back there. That's where I'm at. Do you have a septic system over here? Yes. Okay. It goes right but on. But the marks point is yeah. about the 50 foot. And we have. I mean, the Check house itself, as it exists, is already within 50 feet. Mm hmm So this would be the planning board. Board, board terms. I mean, it's like the, um, it's already closer, so it's really just you know extending an already pre-existing condition of it, <coughs> not, not legal non-conforming. Right. <laughs> so I'm trying to say. Thank you. Um, Were you going so to the zoning board for this? No. Was I supposed to? No. Well, I'm. Just asking. Well, the, I'm sure the building inspector will have you go. <laughs> well, she's so asking, um, should I'm she? Uh, we're, so we're trying to do everything we're supposed to do. Yes, you're basically. doing. You yeah. started with it. Correct. Um, to Mark's point, I'm not sure. Um, that you could get a permit as it sits, building permit. Um, <laughs> Boyd, what's your feeling? <laughs> I mean, we could hold this to the next meeting. I can, we can dig up the bylaw, um, cause you're probably, you've got to go see um, the building inspector on this too. And see what he says. You, you file the building permit application, and that's how you, hold on one second, I thought, no, that was the, old, that was the other person. Did you file a building permit yet? No. We nobody did told RDA. us. We did the RDA. Nobody told us to go to the building thing. I think I'd like to see the bylaw and see how much latitude we actually okay. have. Mm -hmm. And I think we have time. Um, yeah. So, and our next meeting is the 19th. So I think what we need to do, um, Steve's going to just pull up our bylaw. In the meantime, um, between now and the next meeting, we'll continue you um, with the request for determination. I think you know our feelings on the tree. Um, we just but can we tell? We already have someone that's going to take it down. So, but I told them it was going to be after July fifteenth. But then everybody was on vacation, so we couldn't make the July fifteenth meeting. So now I told them I'd call them. August 6th to say if he could have come take it down. Well, I don't, I don't think we have a problem with taking it down, but I don't think they should just yet. Yeah, we didn't. We're not going to be able to sign it because I can't really split up the request right. into two requests because it's under one. Lease. Oh, 
They said make it together to save yeah. yourself time. Well, that's that's we would have done it separately. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you also need to go um, review this since you have that plot plan with the, um, with the building inspector mm -hmm. to see what he's going to say. For you've got to pull a building permit. You know that, right? No, my carpenter said no. Unless it's an addition, you don't need that. It's not the guy that's building it. So everybody tells you something different. He said if it was an addition and it had heat, you have to do that. But if it's just an enclosed port, you do not. But it's over 200 square feet, right? He's not at all. I mean, he's a. He lives on. He's a he's professional carpenter. He does these jobs all the time. Well, it is under 106. It's uh, under 200 square feet. Um. I go see if you're gonna because everybody can see this project. So and you've already kind of you've come to us with just correct. I just um. I think we need to just pause and continue to the next hearing to make sure that we're accurate on what we're doing and to make sure that you don't need a permit for the work. And even if it was a deck, you'd have to do this? Mm -hmm. Okay. A so deck for sure. Okay. How high <coughs> is it off the ground? 16. Yeah. Yeah, you need to make sure that it's safe for you to sit in. See the plans. When you came into the office originally, didn't you talk to someone in, in the Yes, but they were on vacation. And oh. she said you probably don't need to get it surveyed. Oh. You probably won't even need to fill out an RDA. The guy will come down and he'll probably just say, Go ahead and take the tree down. And that's what they, they did to my next door neighbor. They just she put circles on her tree, they came and said, Go ahead, take him down. We she didn't have to go through any of this. Well, I came down and said you had to file. So, but I would, I would talk to him about the building. And then, has there anybody, what? has there been, been anybody else in that area that has we, done any building? Yes, yes. Recently? Socrates, right? They, they right changed the everything. They but raised the, they raised the wild. ground against my property, more than a foot, and no one. Said fine. they couldn't, they put, um, he promised to not have his propane, his chimney, he wanted me to sign off on stuff. I said, no, if the town wants it that way, there's got to be a reason. And he said, it's because of the propane and it's not going to be there. And the propane is there, <coughs> his chimney is there, his stink pipe he has a stink pipe on the roof and a stink pipe on the side sometimes i have to shut the windows on that side of the house okay so what we're going to do he is could so do anything yeah. he, he could wants. do anything yeah. i'm just thinking yeah. we have that to compare this to. we had an order so of conditions for that property yeah i'd like mm -hmm. to know what, what that is? was because i mean that's how do you want to say that they that can't side. do something simple when he so could do did that. something pretty mm -hmm. major right right next door yeah that would be wrong i think it would be unfair to thank people you. That was an order of conditions. What does that mean? So what that was that a filing, a full filing of a notice of intent. So they had an order with... Um, but they changed what they said they were going to do. And on the I'm public access sure road, that. it used to be you raked down out of ash roads. And now I can't even rake there because the road's up so high. Okay. And on top of that, they have surveillance cameras so they if I'm in my own yard, I'm under their surveillance. That's not outside the jurisdiction of conservation. Okay, yeah. so we'll, um, we'll get the information yeah. and then yeah, we'll... Yeah, I'm just saying, we'll but I mean, <laughs> yeah, you'll all I want is a little room that I can sleep right. in in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. We don't want it to collapse. We want it to s right. be safe, too, well, for, yeah, you, okay. for, you know, yeah. habitable space. But Okay. Um, okay so and the man doing it also... The first house on our road, he turned a cabin into a huge house, and he knows what he's doing. I mean, that's good. He's Scott Davidson. I don't he must know. know him. He's okay. Well, we'd still like to get the information, and if you um, can find out if you're going to need a building permit or not, um, 
Uh, the tree's good, but we got to keep it all together. So we'll continue this to August 19th. Okay. And we'll have some answers for you then. Then you can get rolling. 7.30. Can I uh, entertain a motion to continue the request for determination for 45 Lindbergh Ave to August 19th at 7.30? So moved. Second. And that, and favor? when we come, you'll uh, say if we <coughs> have to go to the builder or not. Is that no, what you guys need to do that. We, we have to do find that out. You should do that. They're open okay. late tomorrow night. Yeah, they're open late he's, on he's Tuesdays. Gonna be there. The building inspector will be there tomorrow night. Okay, thank so you. Do you. Thank you, guys. Um, are those copies for us? Yes. Okay. You still have yeah, I'll take I have copies. Okay. Oh, I'll take them. Thank you. Thank you. What determines in general what they have to go? Yeah, we're running you're behind. Putting, putting up a shed. <laughs> okay, right, sorry. public hearing 179 Wallace Street, Douglas Ward. Typically, when I meet people on the field, I say you can file an RDA for this tree, and then sometimes they, they want to go back. And I say, but my caveat is you can file an RDA or an NOI. If you file the, I always tell people, I say this, this is my stick. If you file the RDA, the commission has the right to say you got to file an NOI. So you, if you think that your project might need an NOI, you could skip that step. It's up to you to file the NOI because you're going to come back to me and say, why didn't you tell me that to begin with and I wasted time and money. Mm -hmm. So I tell people this because it's not up to me to tell you what to file. I tell them the scenario between the two and leave it up to them. Do you have your newspaper yeah. article? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sometimes when, when, when I go out into the field, when they come to the commission, the project is kind of blown up a little bit. Green cards and the notice? Two other green yes. cards? <coughs> yes. I think I had some comments. You have the newspaper with the notice? You could be my secretary. And that's all of them? Yeah. yeah, that's all of them. Put them all on one sheet Thanks. now. Deja vu all over again. Right? Yeah. There you go. I was joking because it faded up to you. Okay, who wants to buy a new Kia 2014? <laughs> Town of Douglas Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing for Douglas Ward on August 5th, 2019 at 8 p.m. in the Municipal Center, 29 Depot Street, for work to be done pursuant to the Town of Douglas Wetland Bylaw and the Wetland Protection Act, Mass General Law 131, Section 40. The proposed work location will be done on 179 Wallace Street and involves renovation of an existing house within a pre-existing non-conforming lot. Okay, name and address, please. Uh, good evening. I'm Bob Murphy with Murphy Associates Environmental Consultants, and I am here tonight with Doug Ward, the applicant owner of the uh, property 179 Wallace Street in Douglas. What we're proposing um, is to renovate, rebuild an existing house on an existing pre existing non-conforming lot. We have been to the building department and um, gave us a letter so we're going to the ZBA to get zoning, special permit for zoning. We've also filed uh, a tight tank plan with the DEP. It's been reviewed by the DEP Title V Division. They've accepted it, they've approved it, and it's been submitted to the Board of Health and we have a public hearing a couple of weeks for um, the night for uh, Board of Health uh, approval. The reason we have a public hearing is that the tight tank in order to fit the tight tank system we, c we cannot build a Title V septic system with a leach field. The property is too small. Uh, so we are asking for waivers from the Board of Health, which requires a public hearing. The, the waivers shown on the plan, the uh, five feet to the property line, and eight feet 
from the building foundation. Normally, it's not a big deal, it's normally 10 feet, but if you look at the plane, you can see it's quite tight. And we have um, pushed it back. One of the setbacks that we did not require a waiver for was the distance to the neighbor's wells. Generally, you try to keep a tight tank 50 feet away from the neighbor's wells, and we've been able to do that. Um, we have Harriet Van Dyke here tonight with us as well. She's one of the abutters whose, whose well is adjacent to the property. Right now, we have a cesspool on the site. It has been used by the previous owners. It's been used since it was built 50 years ago. And it is located within 32 feet, approximately. The outer edge of it is about 32 feet from the open water at the wall. Uh, I went down, I took a look at the uh, soil. We did a soil evaluation. It's uh, two minutes sand and gravel with a water table at 30 inches. So you can um, understand where the fluid from the cesspool has been going during the past few decades. Anyway, we're going to get rid of that. That's going to be removed. Uh, the reason for the tight tank is, num is two reasons. The soil is extremely porous next to the lake. The groundwater is very high. You really couldn't build a septic system, so therefore a tight tank. We're showing some trees that were previously removed. The stumps are to remain. We are, um, there's no need to excavate them. We're just going to cover them with soil and bury them. They're quite close to the property line. It just wasn't worth it to uh, cause that kind of disturbance. Yeah. And uh, there, there is uh, no work proposed within, if you'll see the erosion controls, that's, that's pretty much the limit of work. The existing building and the proposed building, it's like a one foot difference in what we're proposing here. Uh, the reason that the building is located where it is, is in order to meet the Board of Health setbacks for the wells, private wells, tight tanks, setbacks from the property lines, the wells, and the building. So we um, replacing the building with a 24 wide by 32 foot building, which is a kind of a standard size for a small building like that. It fits in very nicely with the existing setbacks. We have, we don't anticipate any issues uh, with the Zoning Board of Appeals because it is an existing lot, you know, non-conforming lot. Uh, I've been in contact with the Board of Health agent, Margaret Bacon, and she has given me her essential approval of the septic system as designed. She had a couple of questions relative to the waivers, so what we did was to add the wave the Title V waivers to the plan. She's okay with it. So with that, I'll give it to the board and answer any questions you might have. Okay, so we have a similar situation. Um, you've got a porch on the back, six okay. feet, four sauna tubes. Um, sauna tubes, yes. That's going to be within the 23. Um, existing foundation, there's a little bump out there. Is that a deck that's existing? The hatch mark? A small the porch. Oh, small porch, okay. Yeah, the bump out. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, so some of my common comment was usually the usually the conservation commission prefers the proposed dwelling when replacing an existing dwelling is not located closer to the resource area when when located within the fifty foot buffer zone line. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're asking for flexibility on that because we're removing a cesspool, which is twenty, thirty, thirty feet away from the lake. And moving any septic activity approximately 80 feet away from the, the water 
And in doing so with the size tank and meeting the Board of Health requirements, we asked for waivers as much as we could from the Board of Health. We lowered it down to eight feet, five feet on the property line. And you see what happens is it squeezes the building forward a small amount. But we feel it's a it's a good trade-off to take the ses septic system, cesspool, away from the open water. Right, but the, the proposed two-story house is larger than the existing house. Slightly larger, yes. Yep, so. It's two stories. And it's two stories. It's, it's two stories. Intensity, yeah. Yep. Mm. Right. Well, the idea is we're trying to maintain the similar foundation, but the height is, is, is not an issue relative to. But since you're going up a floor, you could make the footprint smaller. To and you've added on a porch too, a six foot porch. Right. Like right. Mark's Can comment I? from the last person, the four sauna tubes and the porch area is encroaching into the the fifty foot setback. So do you call this porch? Is it a, an enclosed porch with a roof, or is it a deck? Excuse me. We're proposing an open porch. Um, with the roof. Name and address, Screens please. Screens or whatever. Um, Douglas Ward, 3, um, 179 Wall Street. Yeah. And uh, my, my wife, Linda, and um, our neighbor, Harry Van Dyke. So what are you proposing, an open porch? <coughs> yes, um, we're proposing an open porch. Well, a covered porch, but open, not enclosed. Okay, not like a screen. <laughs> Protection from the rain and stuff. Yeah, so it is like a covered porch. Yes, covered okay. porch, exactly. With a roof, okay. I mean, I think overall we're just we're requesting that, you know, the, the respectfully requesting that the board look at the overall facts and circumstances of the proposed project to, um, you know, to, to clean up the cesspool, which is different than, which is unique in our case, I believe. Wouldn't you have to do that anyway? This is a voluntary upgrade. Oh, very nice. Yes, it has not failed, in which I find. Believe, it's not failed. It's a voluntary. With groundwater? Yeah. It's not failed? It's not right. technically it's failed. It hasn't been failed by anyone. I look <laughs> at it and I say, this has to be replaced. But it's considered a voluntary upgrade. Okay. So you essentially be 30 feet from the water, but then with the porch, it's more like 20 Yeah, they left feet off the, the distance from the porch. Yeah. yeah which is the same exact issue that Mark had at the last hearing. <coughs> so um, we have to kind of investigate, I think, what's allowable we under our local bylaws. Yeah, we'll be reviewing the bylaws to see what kind of latitude we mm -hmm. have. Yep. Same thing. And we typically don't close hearings. I mean, did you get a DP number yet? Yes. Okay. Um, we don't close them. When are you going to ZBA? Next Wednesday. Just in case the EBA wants you to move something or decrease the size. Um, so we'd hold this till we hear from them. And we typically don't do it until the Board of Health. We're usually last because it's a little bit easier for us to, you know, right. move to them. After all that's okay. Yeah. We are, <coughs> we have a meeting next Wednesday, a week from Wednesday. Yep. With ZBA, and we've been in touch with them. We don't anticipate any issues. However, we understand your uh, uh, needing to, you know, be last in line relative to those approvals. Well, it's not just that. We've got questions that we want to answer to. Mm -hmm. So your ZBA is on the 14th. So you'll have an That's answer correct. for us probably on the 19th. Anyway. Pending appeals. So the, the Board of Health is the 19th. Yeah, we have 19th with the Board of Health. Yeah, Board of Health is the 19th. Oh, good. Third. Well, okay. I think they're, uh, they're early, right? Six. So, yes, I believe 6 30, maybe. It is. Yeah, yes. 6 or 6 30? Right, it is. It is, early. Yeah. 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 is there a driveway? Or a parking? There's a right of way, and you park basically in the right of way. So, no parking on the lot. On your actual no, really. property. There's you parking. You're not yeah, going to they, this, You could park on the grass, but there's no Where the well right line there. is. Yeah. But most of the parking is right on the right of way. <coughs> and there's, so there's no frontage? Frontage is on the right of way. 
What's a group of these cottagers like this on a on a dirt right of way right that comes off the road? And they all kind of share that. They all, they're all, all the frontages are on the right of way. Yeah. Okay, board, any other questions? Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, anybody in the audience have any questions or comments? They do have a DEP number. Yep. Okay. I believe they have. I don't have it in my on my agenda. Just we got it. I didn't go to the seventy foot number. Yeah. Should there be a twenty five foot line on the plant? Twenty five foot line. Oh yeah. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. There we should be. I'm gonna add it. Yeah, appreciate that. Seven forty five. Does that sound good for you guys? Yeah, that sounds good. We're at 6.30 Board of Health, so... Yeah, so you'll know by then. Um, I'll entertain a motion to continue the public hearing for 179 Wall Street to August 19th at 7.45. That's right. So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Very we'll much. see you on the 19th. Thank you. <coughs> that one folds bigger. Yeah. Folds horizontally first. <laughs> Fold halfway. It's the quickest way of folding. Fold. What? what did you call it? Horizontally. Oh, no, no, before that. It's the fastest way yeah. of folding. It, it folded weird. It's that folded faster? Weird. That's what you said. It's faster. Okay. It's quicker. Okay. Thank you. We will be submitting these plans to the board as well. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So here's the, uh, I'll, I'll send this by electronically to the commission. I think it's posted too on our website. But if you go to, just go to section 10.3 would be, the, would be the sections that. So, yeah, so per, for purposes of the table below, so we have work limit of work or disturbance, which is residential activity within the 25 foot. Um, Work mean it means filling, excavation, grading, operation of motorized construction equipment, and storage or stockpiling of earth or construction materials. And building means anything requiring a building permit or other structure, including but not limited to retention or detention ponds, culverts, and wing walls. So that's why I was asking, does it require a permit? So they're going to get that answer for me. Which one? Uh Either one. Either one. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's kind of. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This presumption is rebuttable. <laughs> Rebuttal. <laughs> Rebuttal. <laughs> um, it may be overcome upon a showing by a preponderance of evidence that the nature of the proposed work, specific uh, special design measures, control, construction control, site conditions will prevent the alteration of the resource area and will cause no significant harm in the areas or values protected by the bylaw. So it gives you some leeway. It does. Case yeah. by case. Yep. In general guide, 50 feet. Yeah. Okay. 810 RDA public meeting 36 Davis Street James Fitzpatrick came in for the water line this is a right across from the school oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes 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 okay. now what are you doing <laughs> not, not that staying I, out of uh, trouble, this is, a, I see. this is the first thing I'm doing. Everything else has been fine, not <laughs> oh, me. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so do you have the article? Um, I do. I have a receipt it? of the article. But you, do you have the actual one? No, she, when I filed it, she told me she was going to... She oh, okay. has copies is what she told me okay. originally. Let's see if we have it. We're good three out of three. Unfortunately, so. I don't read the TNG. Uh, no. I'm not a subscriber. No. Okay. <laughs> The Town of Douglas Conservation Commission will hold a public meeting for James Fitzpatrick on August 5th, 2019 at 8, 10 p.m. in the Municipal Center, 29 Debo Street for work to be done pursuant to the Town of Douglas Wetland Bylaw and the Wetland Protection Act, Mass General Law 131, Section 40. The proposed request for determination of applicability work location is 36 Davis Street and the applicant is requesting 
permission to remove several pine trees that pose a risk to property damage. Okay, name and address. And just tell us. Fitzpatrick, uh, 36 Davis Street. Okay, and you give us a little map. There's three trees. Yes, there is and three trees. One, at the uh, front of the property? Yeah, there's four actually, but one of them I believe is going to be taken down by Pine because it's within the area where they're running the water line through. Okay. And, um, so, so a little three. history for some of the members. There's a walk across from the high school. There's, there's a water line that's going from uh, Davis Street through this property. You see these trees? or It's pretty much coming right where this tree is here. And then there's a subdivision that, that's across from Bosman's golf course, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a stream back here. It's going underneath the stream, up that gravel bank, and then there's a water line's gonna loop into that new subdivision on the round. Mr. Fitzpatrick owns this property now, and he's looking to take these, these pine trees over here down. <coughs> there's, a, there's a little wetland that comes off the street. There's a little gully here. There's not, but, and then, then there's an intermittent stream. The trees are, more than I believe 100 feet from the stream. It's, it's just a little wetland here that's right off the street that comes from runoff or high groundwater. What's the distance, um, the closest to the wetland edge? Do you know? Can you scale it off of there? I don't know exactly what it is. If I was mm -hmm. to guess, well, I mean, it's within the, the same area that they're running the water line, so. If I had the this one ruler, here? no oh. scale, and the plan, please. And this one here? Yeah, thank you. And did you um, put a little ribbon around the trees that you're taking down? I did not tie a ribbon around the trees. Okay. What are they a danger to? Uh, falling on top of uh, my equipment and a... Uh, proposed garage that I'm uh, going to uh, apply for a permit next year for. And if you can see that white speck over there on the left, that's the neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. So these trees are on my property and these trees are constantly dropping limbs off of them onto the ground. And you know, my biggest concern is if that tree decides to go the other way, mm -hmm. it's going to literally I mean, it's going to crush that house. It's not going to just uh, do any damage to it. Worth What's that? Did you think this was within the hundred? He doesn't show. No, it's there's a wetland right here, off the street. Oh. There's a, there's a wetland. Right here. Oh, okay. There's a wetland. There's, there's a wetland, wetland yeah, on the, the front of the property. The back edge is over a hundred feet. There's a little okay. wetland. Well there's, over. There's 100. a little okay. wetland that comes off of the. Uh, it's, yeah, it's off of sixteen. Off of sixteen. They put a little culverted pipe there and then it started discharging the water into the property mm -hmm. and uh yeah so. okay but i would say probably the wetland's got to be at least you know, size wise if i was going to guesstimate maybe it's maybe six by eight okay it's more like a wet. drainage swale correct that's exactly what it is okay. now how far is that from the trees um, yeah, I, I think you were just measuring. I no, I only have the back um, wetland flagged on this plan. Well, I, mean, I don't know what if you guys would have the records of the, the water view. line, you know, where that is, because that would tell you exactly where it is. Because the water line's outside of the, it's within the scope of the, the uh, wetland area, mm -hmm. because you guys approved that they've actually already installed uh, yeah. a section of that pipe. Plan, yeah, so. plan. Nope. Now, right there, that where your arrow is, yeah. that was an existing house. That house was demolished probably about seven years ago. There's the pine ago. trees. Yeah, there's correct. a stream that runs back here. So the, the wetland is a little pocket. Would you want me to grab the subdivision plan? No. I would say, it, what is it, about 30 feet maybe? Are you going to leave the stumps? I can. If I mean, I'm... We're like I'm, all about that. I'm more about the tree. Okay. Falling down on top of anything and killing somebody or destroying oh, geez. damage no, or anything that, like yeah. that, you know. That would be my biggest concern. Um, Are they dead? Yeah, are they unhealthy? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you got limbs dropping off these trees. Yeah. You got one tree that's split into three, and it's uh, very, very unstable. I did take some, you know, I did send, take some pictures of uh, some of the limbs, but unfortunately this just didn't. It. it was one limb that ended up coming off this behind that bobcat that came off this tree. This one's, I think, 
line's going to end up removing that one because it's within the area where they're running the, the water line. So one of them actually is coming out. There's going to be three left over. Let me see if I uh, no, I don't have. Bird and and if and if it, if it makes anything, you know, if it makes it better, I'm willing to plant other trees on the property. Wow. I have no problem really? doing that. What kind no of trees problem. do you want to plant? A, a, How many? A good tree. Maple. A good tree. <laughs> you know, good tree. <laughs> some fruit trees, you know, maybe some apple trees. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anything but a pine tree. You know, okay. this, this tree is just extremely dangerous. And they are on your property. They 100%. are on my property. Okay. Absolutely. 1,000%. One, 1, okay. Board, any comments? Questions? I mean, if the applicant's going, I'm happy to allow them to remove the trees under an RDA as long as there's some replacement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, three, no with that. three plus trees mm -hmm. replacement? Yeah, one for one. Yeah. Absolutely. I have no problem with that. Okay. Agreed. All right. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion to uh, <coughs> issue a negative. RDA for 36 Davis Street with uh, conditions that the stumps remain and um, three or more trees be planted in their place. And no equipment in the wetlands. And yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely not. No. No. Well, yeah. You can write that down though, just in case. No equipment in the wetland. You add native. You, you can you can go completely native. Around. Non invasive. Not native. Non invasive. You can go completely around trees. these trees. Two times out and yeah. you'll never be within the wetland. Yeah. So you know you three. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Plus. Good luck digging it out after. Right. <laughs> Is there only three trees? You sure? Uh, there's four, but there's oh, four geez. of them there. But I believe Pine has taken one sure. of them. Am I positive? Okay. For so pine trees? Yes. You want to make it for so four? So let's do four I'm, for I'm four. I'm positive yeah. it's four, four pine yeah. trees. All right. But I believe Pine is taking one uh, taking one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, well, since you volunteered, you could do However, even. you guys know that yeah. by four. Right. We'll give you That's fine. I'll okay. plant four of them. I don't. Okay. I, th four that does not more. bother me at all. Four or more trees. Okay. And if you look at my house, thirty, at my house side, yep. and look at all my landscaping. I have no problem planting trees. And okay. Right. So, and you'll see that. Okay. I'm all about the green. All right. These, um, Good. <laughs> these trees screen the house, your next door neighbor's house. So, could the new trees also? Be in a position where they help to screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they could be, but I mean, I don't know if I, I don't know if that would. Well, number one, how am I going to plant a tree there if I'm going to leave the stump? And uh, that's going to be not a. I don't know right. how I'm going to do that. So <laughs> I'll plant them up yeah, in the front not, on the street not side. The or wet, no, not near the wetland either. Yeah, correct. Correct. The opposite side. Right. So no. Um, non invasive, non invasive and trees? native. Yeah. Okay. So Lightning. I'm thinking, what what tree is loves water? Which Red maple. No, Birches. there's another. One. No, there's another one. Willow. We. There you go. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. But they're very messy. They oh, they are. Dangerous. Okay, all right. So I'm not planning that. Then. Yeah. I got enough with my last okay, game. There was a worse than pine in oh, terms of dry. Really? Um, okay. Was I mean, it takes it. thirty years. Okay, so you're gonna. Okay, I won't be here. Okay, I'll um, entertain a motion to issue a negative yeah, RDA okay. for 36 Davis Street. Yeah, no, no with equipment. With conditions. Yep, yeah, no, no equipment. Need to replace the existing trees, four or more trees, with four and more new trees. And keep Not a problem. And keep the stumps. Yep, I'll keep the stumps. Keep the stumps. So. And do I hear a second? Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, is there anything that I need to get from you? Okay, all right. Something's yeah, we need to, to sign me, something, or? yes. Okay. Yep. It doesn't need to be recorded or anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, Whiten Reservoir Estates, request for a certificate of compliance. Stockwood Realty, Douglas Hill Way. Hi. Hello. Name oh, and address, yeah. please. Hi. My name is Bob Pace. And one of the owners of the okay. Bob, before you start, Maria wanted me to give you this stuff. Right. Awesome. To sign? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll do this. Sign it after. Okay, sure. 
Okay, so this is my fourth and a half time coming here. The half time was last week when I showed up and nobody else was here. Oh, no. Right, so. Uh, <laughs> Note to self, always check the calendar. Okay. Well, he's an idiot because he told me it was Oh, no, no, that's not nice. All right, that's well, not nice. we're idiots. Okay, it's fair. Um, so, when we first came here, we had an order of conditions, and basically you guys said, hey, can you go ahead and get an as -built? So we did that, and we came back, and um, at that time, um, okay, I'm not even sure, okay, it, it, it got, um, everybody wanted to read the, the order and make sure it was complied with. Um, so in the meantime, we got a, a an email from Steve Zisk that was kind of confusing, okay, to me anyway. And and uh, we went down to see Bill Condiff, okay, because most of the stuff in the email <clears throat> at least appeared to be, okay, um, more to do with the road work and the acceptance of the road and so on. Uh, all we're looking to do is get the order of conditions um, to get a certificate of compliance, we're done working in the wetlands area. Uh, I sent um, Steve a uh, a picture um, on your email, Steve. I don't know if you can pull that up. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's a before and after picture. Of what? Of, of that whole base is cleared. So up. yeah, well, I so before from, and after. Yeah, so over here. From that? July 15th, meeting minutes. Um, or is that the one I just sent you? No, no, but this is ones I took before and after. Yeah, so the detention pond was overgrown. That's from July 15th. So Steve reported that to yeah. us. And no, Mrs. This asked the applicant for documentation of the what? pre and post construction maintenance. Well, I went out, oh, 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 out this weekend. Oh, 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 I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. I, I only saw the other one. He works on the weekends. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. So. so Okay, I, I think you can see that that thing's... So it was done. Yeah. Um, um, and most of the other <coughs> questions were really pertaining to, well, there's going to be storm water, you got to go to the planning Construction board. Construction maintenance right. schedule. Right. Yeah, so you want me to go through where yeah. I get, came up? Yeah, All right, please. so when you file, when they file it for the notice of intent, yeah. even though there's only a little portion of the, this really... And you're correct. The, the entire subdivision, the, the street and everything else, there's a wetland back there. A little bit of the 100-foot buffer clips the back part of the detention pond. But when they filed the notice of intent for the subdivision, yeah. the notice of intent covered the, the plans covered the entire subdivision. Yeah. And part of their notice of intent was the stormwater management. And under the Wetlands Protection Act, the commission's jurisdiction is stormwater management. And so the filing, um, in there, when I when I also emailed you the pre and post yeah. conditions, those conditions came from your fi the filing for the subdivision. And then if you look at the general order, so I was looking up today, because I can understand why yeah. you're saying, why do I have to comply with everything else, the planning board? No, 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 but, I'm not, I'm but not the even asking But that. the subdivision itself isn't finished. Like the stormwater management's not finished. What the subdivision? There's no curbing. There's the catch patients on. Are Correct. they paved over? Are they paved? Because I only saw one, but I no. think they might be paved over there. It's yeah. not, this but it's not so functioning, sad. right? There's no, there's no letter from the engineer saying that the subdivision stormwater manager is functioning. But which is fine, and I'll give yeah. you a copy of this. So when you get the order of conditions, there's the they sign this. There's the state order, which is a general order that every order of conditions, which is the DEP, yep. has their standard conditions, and then the commission has specials. So I'm not even going to go into the con commissions. The special conditions from the DEP, and one of them is 19. If you go through it, yep. the work associated with this order project is or is not subject to the Massachusetts Wetton Standards, and it sub its subject is. So it's so this order covers that. And then if you read further down here, it, it goes over everything that you need to comply with in order to get a certificate of compliance on the order of conditions. Because the subdivision stormwater management is part of this order. Well then. And, and if you read, you know, if you go through this, 
you know, all work so. in the site preparation, land, you know, it talks about construction and redevelopment shall be implemented in accordance with construction period, you know, with the approved plans. And the approved plans are the plans that were recorded on here, which is the subdivision plans, not just part of it. I, so I, that was more where my comment came from. Right, no, I understand, I understand the The commission the can deviate from that, but typically right. the approved order conditions is the subdivision plans with the stormwater management. Right. And if you're gonna get a certificate of compliance on that, just submit, we were looking for, I was looking for rec my recommendation, documentation from your engineer that you complied with the order conditions and the storm order, it meets the design. Well, that's that's what the as built said, okay. Well, right, well, and one of my comments says he, he put it substantially complete. The, uh, well, well, did, well it put. can't be complete right. for the reasons you just gave. There is no, uh, the, there, there is no curbing, okay, and the sidewalks are not complete, and so on and so on. So it's substantially complete. That's a, well, you know, I mean, that's a, right. So typically, that's a, so that's an industry you, usually term. when you, yeah, so when you go through it, planning because people come to the conservation commission after the subdivision is signed off by the planning board and that it's it's completed and then it's, and then the commission because right now is it is it acting as a stormwater management system for pre or post construction? Both. Right. So you're not really done with it yet. So it's not really a. But we are with the pond. Okay, the pond is completed. Nothing else is going to be done except the maintenance, just like it's called on. The issue is, okay, that you, you didn't allude to it, you said it, that there's a lien on the property. Now we're going to begin construction, mm -hmm. okay, and every single person, okay, is going to pull this up and mm -hmm. say, hey, okay, you've got an order of conditions here, okay, can, can you get my lot out of it, okay? So, you know, okay. And, 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 and that's the issue because they don't want a lien file on a lot that really, I, I mean, if you told me that, you know, that lot, I don't even know what that is, eight, okay, is one that I'm not going to release because there's a fire pond here, okay, not a fire pond, a, 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 a uh, retention pond there, uh, you know, I didn't understand that, but we're, so is your, is We're your seven, issue, eight, nine hundred feet away. So your issue yeah. is so mm -hmm. your your issue is not so much that you're, you're not arguing that the commission that the work's not complete with the stormwater management under the order of conditions is that because all the other little lots that are get got created are, are getting sucked in through, through title search with the no notice question. of intent. Of no the subdivision question. roadway itself, and that, and also all the individual individual lots which are outside our jurisdiction, right. when you go to sell them and do a title search, it's coming back that there's the order conditions because they're part of the larger parcel. Right. So Th typically, what happens in that case is, and then you can ask your lawyers, and yeah. is that you, you get partial releases for each one of those lots sometimes. Well, then I guess I'd request a partial release for every lot. Okay, and then I have to, and I don't want to spend, you know, $150 to record every single lot. Okay, so I'd like to have them all released. Okay. So it, it, the scope of the work under the original order has not been met. So Steve has explained in your order, we cannot legally release this order unless the, the conditions are met. So the entire or order. Or you can say it's not, su it's not substantially complete and you can you can refile, I guess, for the mm. activities that you want to file for, that it could be a partial, partially complete. But there, we have no control. If we release this, we have no control to get all that stuff done, I the pre and post. Well, well, you do, okay? How? Because there's a $137,000 bond in place, okay, a cash bond. For conservation. For, for. No, it's not for well, conservation. Well, hold on a minute, okay? okay? And again, I don't want to argue with you. I, I know, debate. because it's I, black and white. I, no, 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 so no, no, no. But I'm, what I'm trying to do is debate uh -huh. this with you. It's not an argument, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm not angry or anything. I, I, okay, I just want you to at least understand my po point of view. So I go to the planner, okay? And I said, so all of this work in here, that's right, we bonded it. We, we bonded with 150% with okay, of, of, mm -hmm. of the a, a, actual cost. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to do the road work right now, okay, because the road work will be, will be uh, um, when, when you do it, 
there's a chance that it'll get damaged. We want to have a town road when it's all done. Okay, is pristine. Okay, so, okay, so we put lot three under agreement. Mm -hmm. If I showed you the purchase and sales agreement, okay, which I can, mm -hmm. okay, it, you know, it, it's all about this order of conditions. Uh, you know, and this isn't my first, uh, this isn't my first sub subdivision, okay, and, you know, once you're done with, with the work within the jurisdiction, okay, they they typically want these things clo closed out. They don't want them lingering out there. Right, but unfortunately, it has been intermingled with the stormwater. That I, wasn't you. I know you inherited this project, but it is it is twisted with the post, the pre and post for stormwater runoff. Hmm. That's what Steve's saying. He's, they didn't file for it, just grading. Which uh, would have been it should have been like the detention pond should have been one order. They filed for the stormwater management system. The whole subdivision stormwater but, management. Okay, but even after that's done, there is still a swept in place. O okay, so basically what I did right here was maintain that. The same thing I would so okay, you, did you, if there did was an order of conditions or not. a letter stating that the stormwater management is complete? I, I yes, mm -hmm. I... I I, I could have them write that for sure, okay, because it is complete. And it's functioning correctly? And it's functioning correctly, because that's what it said. It's substantially complete. You're saying that you can't possibly do that because it's not tied to the inlets on the street? Well, it is but tied to the inlets on the street. So we, you, we usually, you know, usually the planning board signs off and says it's complete, and then the commission comes in and says thank you, and then they oversee the construction and the review of it. Hence why, when I came here the first time, okay, you said, please get me an as-built plan. I, j I just want to back up a little bit, okay? I went out, spent the money, had it surveyed, did that, okay? I came back again, okay? And they said, well, this thing needs to be cleaned up. I did that, okay, as well. It's kind of like, I'm, I'm, and again, I'm not... I'm trying to choose my words because I, I'm, 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 I'm not being accusatory, okay? But I'm trying to let you know that, you know, I mean, I've done what I needed to do. If you came to me and said the first day, and said, yeah, this isn't ready, don't do anything, okay, we'll see you in five years, okay? Because that's how long this could take, okay? And, and you know, then I'll need an extension to the order, okay? I mean, it, it, it okay, to me, I've never seen anything like this, okay? And, and Have you read the order with the post-construction and pollution prevention, that section? Did you read this part? I, I read this a month and a half ago, and I can't okay. remember 15 minutes ago. Okay. <clears throat> so that, that's not really our fault that there's stuff in here that needs to be followed, and it wasn't followed. So what else needs to be done for the stormwater system? What else? What other tasks need to be done? For the yeah. stormwater system? Yes. Well, okay, I guess the entire road needs to be completed with top coat, sidewalks, curbing. Okay, okay, the whole road needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So any any project that takes more than whatever it is, four, four years, okay, essentially can't even get built with one order of conditions. The, okay, well, we do the, allow for extensions. Okay, so, so this is... This would make me happy, okay? Not that you want to make me happy, I'm just, you know. Could I come in to release the lots, okay? And that way you're out of your own, uh, or out, out, out of... I've already signed off on all the building permits that came in before the commission. This is for closings, okay? That's the, that's the big issue, Steve. Okay, attorneys are looking at this. Were they, so how, typically, this were they accepted finished. parts? Typically, something like this. I understand your situation because your your, your title search, yep. you're getting sucked into the the order. Right. Through the, a lot of times that happens. It happens with subdivisions that were done 20 years ago. No you know, question. And, and guys, they're, they're guys a mile, never close mile, them out because the old farm, around. the old farmland right. that was originally the the, the original book and page. Yep. Um, and they got subdivided for the roadway and then the individual lots, yep. they, sometimes they come in with partial releases. Would that satisfy right. your 
if I could put all of the lots on a partial release? Well, they come in individually, yeah. E each lot comes in and they do a, or how, about the how many P and S's right. do you have signed? Ready I, have, to roll. I have two signed right now. Okay. But, okay, but I'm building on two other lots I have no as well. Issue with doing partial releases. So I don't That's either. Way. I I don't have an issue because you've been on this path. You have been doing what we have asked you. And you I know, it's trickling it. in, and the detention pond does look good. Uh, I would be willing to do those two lots specifically as a partial release. I, I mean, okay. I mean, I I guess I would want to ask for all of them. Okay, maybe not lot lot. We eight. have no teeth. If you get uh -huh. all of them, then we there's no way we can get well, the it's items it's completed. It's a, well, it's the subdivision. That's just kind of the. But the jurisdiction of the stormwater is ours. Right. When you just read that order of conditions. Oh, okay. Right. Could could you just explain to me the 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 risk? Okay. And I guess I would go back and again just 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 talk. Okay, about you know I put up. $135,000. That's to ensure the road gets built. Along with that, okay, it ensures that the basin gets built. It, 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 it makes sure that the curbing gets put in. Okay, it, it's, that's the purpose of a bond. Okay, to ensure the town that it gets completed. So That's all on the planning board. Yeah. So, you know, the, the, he's in a technical bind with the commission. So, to, in the past, technically, it built all, all the lots aren't within the commission's jurisdiction. You know, we signed off on the building permit and should be able to build them, which you can now. You can build all those lots because I signed right. them. There I, is no I, order of conditions for any of those subdivision lots. But it's still showing up when they do a title search and on lot one, on it, lot eight, and, on right. lot Right, and typically they, they just release the partial, so you get a partial release for that because you're not, you shouldn't be under those lots. Tip, T technically shouldn't be under the order conditions for the subdivision roadway. That's different. what I'm saying. Okay, that's I mean, exactly what I'm personally saying. Personally, I agree with that. Okay, so I, I'm what I'm the subdivision itself. No you'd have question. to come back and finish it when it's 100% complete and file no. with the commission. No question. And again, okay, at the town's request, I shouldn't say at the town's request. If I went out and and uh, and um, and completed the subdivision today, or well, the in, in infrastructure, okay, and then I damaged it, I'd have to, I would have to fix it again, or moving trucks going in and out of there. And yeah, so. it's a catch-22. Right. So, the, what Steve has read to you, the under the order of conditions, the original one, um, no stormwater runoff may be discharged, so it's subject to Massachusetts stormwater standards. That's how we're controlling the stormwater standards with this document. So all construction period, BMPs, have them removed, will remove. So there's five items that need to be satisfied for us to release it. Okay. So on this page number seven, so we need to get all those done to do a full release. Which is completing the road. Uh, okay, I guess we're, we're, we're actually on the same side side on this, okay. I, I understand what that says. That's why I'm trying to ask you for releases of the lots. Understanding that if the road never gets, if, if I sold all 12 lots and went out of business, there's $135,000 there to do $80,000 worth of work. So we, we don't know that. Well, well yes, it's you not do. even our jurisdiction to no. know that. That's planning yeah. board's issue. Yes, yeah. planning board. Planning so board. I, I don't know technically, yeah, uh, from a technical perspective, how can we technically release the order of conditions and issue a certificate of Partial. compliance? I'm not asking for that. What are you okay. asking for? I'm asking you to release the lots, to give me partial releases on the lots. And and if, like I said, because it lo looks like lot A... You have to fill out the partial release on each individual Yeah, what, what did you file for? I thought it was a certificate of compliance. Well, I did. Not a partial. Well, I did, but... <coughs> That was that was four times ago, okay? And I'm coming here tonight. Are you counting last Monday as the fourth time? No, no. Oh, that was the four, the half? Four and a half, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the uh, um, and so what I'm a asking for. Okay. okay. Nope, sorry. Have a good drive. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, what I'm asking for is if you think you need to hold one lot 
if, if this is the this is the hundred foot buffer, that's the fifty foot buffer. Okay, hold that in. Okay, and that way I'm 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 free to okay at least work through this. Okay, and and by by the time we're at lot eight, I I will literally I'm sure we'll have the road done by then. What was your request for? So you're modifying your request right now? Yes, ma'am. From a full order to a partial releasing the individual lots, but not releasing the roadway. Right. Well, he's going to have to have the book and pages and, and bring that back and we'll sign it at the next meeting. No, uh, that's fine. just talking about yeah. it now. I'm yeah. just procedurally, that's what's been done over the years. Because it, it's... It I'm fine to vote on the two lots that you have under P&S. Well, not only do I, when I'd be requesting to, can I get a certificate that releases 12 on one of these so I don't get $1,000 in recording fees? Well, that would be the next one. You'd have to, you would have to fill out the partial request correctly I, I'll, without I'll, the book and pages. Right. I would be yeah. Happy to so do I'm it. saying and if I you need to an close on something... Now we could give you the two that you want. I don't want. have to close okay. on anything. I have to sign a purchase and sales. You know, have they withdraw this. Right. Okay. Have them withdraw okay. this, and then file a new one for partials. Okay. Okay. And and do you want to hold the one partial? No. Okay. Um, it's going to be the roadway. Okay. Roadway will still be under the original order. Okay. So I'm going to have them file. I'm going to see if if. They can do it all on one and I, and yeah, I do you appreciate can. So you're going to respectfully withdraw your request for a certificate? I respectfully, I respectfully withdraw my request for a certificate <coughs> of okay. compliance. Well, let's try to get it done for the next meeting. We can put that on for discussion. Okay. Um, so you're going to do a partial certificate of compliance? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so and you're going to list all the lots I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to have An An Andrews do it. Okay. But to so tell are they going to have the same? Book and page number on all of them? It'll oh, have it? one yeah. and it'll be linked to every single right. lot. You, sh you should have separate book and pages for each lot. He hasn't made the deeds yet, though. No, because that's a subdivision. Uh, okay, it's, it's nothing's so it's, been conveyed yet. It's got to be the lots shown on the plan withholding the roadway and detention right. area. Yes, yeah, so as soon as you can get that. And you can pass we, it by town yeah. council. We can pass by town council just to make sure it's properly done. Yeah, okay. So it'll be the partial, it'll be the individual uh, house lots. And then if somebody links, it'll be linked to the subdivision and then they can see that the lot was released okay. as a partial. Just have them do a little narrative, you know, explaining, you know, how everything got sucked up into one, deep, one book and page and you want to release the individual lots. Okay, who do you want the narrative to go to? Send it to me. Okay, just just in, along with the... It's a request. Mm -hmm. With you a request, the request for a certificate. I'll pass it on to legal counsel, and then okay. hopefully you'll be all set. Okay, and and, and I do appreciate it. I, it it's, it's, it's a quagmire. I get yeah. it. It's, you know... It's, We've been through it before. And, and all I'm trying to do is straighten out an order of conditions that seem to be very simple, and then it wasn't. It was not. Yeah. Thank so. you for coming in. No, thank thank you, and I no and, and I really appreciate you doing this too. Um, request for extension of order. Are they within their time? Miller. I don't know. I don't think. I don't. I think. Has Miller. No. Oh, not Miller. Oh. I yeah, they're I've got to go too. So what did we do with I believe they are. I, we already I, did that. Long perfect. Time ago. Great. Oh we yes. Did? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, we took it during the meeting. Yeah, we're on 115 Shore Road. Yeah. I yeah. believe they are. Yep. They're within it. I, I didn't check the date. I didn't choose, but so the max extension we can do is another three years. So we want to give that to them. They had an order of conditions and they didn't do the thing yet. Yeah. They're, well, they're they're stuck with. Uh, do we think Shore Road has changed significantly in the last three years? No, not at all. Uh, here it is. Uh, this is it here. Um, they got to finish the uh, 10, 20, 2006. Some of them. Is that for the house? Mm -hmm. 
Who is assigned? I think they have some issues with ZBA or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. How big an extension you're talking about? Um, three? I mean we can do up to three years, one time. Um, it was issued 1017, so we're good on that. If you would like to grant that for them. I wonder if it's every member. Anybody? Anybody? Hmm. I'm sorry. He's just yeah, sitting I'm at our table it. still. What did you say? He just won't leave. Yes, I'm fine with it. I need a formal vote, please. Making a motion to approve the extension of the order of conditions for Robert and Diane Miller at 115 Shore Road. Four. Four. Three years. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Could I just ask anybody a question? Has anybody seen this form? I don't know what it is. New Val, that's mine. Oh, okay. That's mine. I'm sorry. What was the sticky that went along with it? It, it says... Oh, are you a vendor? No. <laughs> do you sell paper products? No. Products? No? Oh, okay. Printers. Do you have a sticky yeah. for it? Yeah, okay. What does it say? It says, uh, please have Bob Pay sign them mm -hmm. tonight and return to Cheryl. Then this one says, please complete and return to me. Okay, I don't know if that's all. Why don't you, why don't you call Marie tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Can so I give you this one way. back, or, or 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 can you leave it? Yeah, I'll okay. leave it there. Okay. Okay. And Mumford Watershed. Thank you very much. Okay. Here's okay. your. Uh, yep. So we, uh, Oxbridge uh, Conservation Commission, Holly emailed me, so I emailed with the commission. It sounds like they canceled the meeting. I don't know if that email went out and anyone got it. But the last minute, because I went. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, but they end up canceling the meeting, and I haven't heard anything back from them. Okay. So, therefore, I think this is going to come up again in the future sometime. Yeah. So we just don't know how fast. Talk about how we have them, how we're in a watershed. We're in the Mumford River watershed right. basin. Yeah. I gave her the them. report that we. I, oh. They're downstream. They're you know, downstream. They want to grant us a feed into Uxbridge. What are we I mean, doing? We're tonight? pretty clean now, are we? We are, yeah, yeah but not say. them. No, but so I gave her, our, our information I gave her, it should be plenty. I, mean, I read most of it. It's very good stuff. <laughs> it is. Um, that sounds fantastic. It's an expensive study the state did. Yeah? Yeah. But when they're going to move on this, they, they got the problems, not us. But okay. It was just an informational type thing for us. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So there's not really any action for us to take. Okay. So, uh, okay. I sent you a link to the uh, MACC handbook. Yeah, I didn't open it yet because no, I have it's a just copy. Just following up on uh, okay. last night. I, I talked to Carrie. Yeah. While you're signing, I talked to Carrie Van Denecker. They don't have the uh, sign making machine anymore. Oh, okay. We'll have to find out. Maybe someone else can they volunteer. They don't. They don't. Who's been making all the signs? They must have a vendor. Do the brown ones with you the need to white? Sign that one. No, I recuse myself. Yeah. This is um, well, a did all ours. one. Oh. Our kind of two we we have. Yeah. yeah, they they router out the things yeah. and paint them white. No, no, she's coming back. I thought that was. She's coming back. It's the other wall. She's gonna come back. Okay. She's gonna come she's back on eight nineteen at seven fifteen. Thank you. Excellent note taker. We also. Continue the Lavelles and yeah. the yeah, Ward. I also contacted uh, legal. Um, while you're signing, I also mm -hmm. contacted Douglas. legal counsel or about yeah. Ward. Yeah. And I got. I think I put a copy of the email. You we can did. talk about in everyone's folder. We can talk about next meeting about yeah. setting up the regulations for our the stewardship, our, our conservation right. parcels. Yeah, wonderful. So, yep. He says he had a good point that every maybe every well every piece of land is a little different. We do have some that we we were mowing annually by the neighbors, but we're going to have to set up, we set up vendors now. We probably usually we'll probably get some pricing. We usually have that done in October after the turtles migrate through our fields. We have okay. fields. Let them clear out first. Let them clear out first, and then. Okay, that makes sense. One is uh, on the way to Manchild. Yes. Man, you see the steps that go up? Kind yes. Of? I know exactly where you're talking about, near Mumford Street. You, take, Mumford those, you Street. take the steps up and over, it's all, there's a field back there. Yep. I went up there. Oh. I used to live about 100 yeah. feet from where those steps are. <laughs> <laughs> so I checked it out. And then there's one on the Exbridge line. Um, yeah, that one I don't know. Way, way back, it's back in uh, 
One of the last spots of Douglas, that, that corner of Douglas where uh, no one goes. Where that cemetery is? Well, it's... Uh, the one that's actually in that stretch. Are we going to save minutes till um, next meeting, Mike? Mm -hmm. so we are. Good. It is getting late. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's here. yeah I think we got to we'll wrap, wrap this up, okay? People, if you don't mind. You're hoping for a quick one, though. I know. It always gets when you're way late. Well, yeah. Up. My parents are up from Miami, so oh. they're leaving um, tomorrow. And they have a child with them. So this is waiting for me. This is the conservation land here. So here's the corner of Uxbridge, Douglas. This is our parcel right here, right okay. there. Nice big field. Yeah. This is all no man's land back here. All this land here. All right, guys. So, all right, nice job. Now we have um, I'll entertain a motion. So to adjourn. Yeah. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you very much.